Hello and welcome to Aspire. In today's video, we will be looking at self-performed work using Crew Mobile for our snow season. We'll be learning how to use it and the differences that may exist between the green season and the snow season. So we're going to hop into our system here and we're going to have a look at our schedule just to see what we have set up here. We have our operations manager up in the top. We have our list of crews that the operations manager is responsible for. And we have some work tickets scheduled currently for crew one. One checkbox that we will have a look at in relation to crew mobile and the use of crew mobile will be in our route setup. We do want to make sure that if the crew is going to need to create any new as needed services or even a quick ticket for snow work, maybe you're doing some hauling that the client has called about and you weren't able to put an extra opportunity together before activating the crew to go and take care of that request. We can, on the route setup, check off this box here that allows that new ticket button to be visible on Crew Mobile to create those new as needed work tickets and assign costs to it or our quick ticket for TNM work. So those three check boxes really are going to help out. Allow equipment time reporting as well is going to be important for you, um, especially for snow and especially for TNM. So those are two check boxes that we do want to make sure is selected based on your needs for the particular route. So now that we have some responsibilities, some work dispatched out for this particular route, this crew of Snow One, we can go and have a look at our crew mobile for this crew and see what they're going to see. Here's crew mobile. We're going to log in and see what Jack sees on his schedule today. Again, just like normal, when you're using Crew Mobile and starting your shift during the green season, we're going to clock in. And once we clock in, we're going to go to our schedule and maybe we're in the yard. We're going to put some shop time towards our day. In this situation, we're going to go to Extreme Auto first. When we schedule, right, we want to make sure that we're scheduling in order of priority, ideally, so that when the crew leader logs into Crew Mobile, they have that order of priority there ready for them to use. So we can drill into that first service. We can start our time. All right, this is the drop down that shows for the equipment time reporting, right? So for this particular service on our estimate, we did not have any equipment assigned as an estimated cost to this service, so there's no equipment to choose, we can go ahead and just start the work. Okay. Just like during the green season, we're able to see any open issues. We can add new issues as well if something happens on site with the new issues button. We can also add materials. This is a plowing service, so we don't expect to have to use any. There's nothing estimated here. But if we needed to, we could add a material item from our catalog out of inventory. We can provide documents for view. We can probably load up some maps for the site. That would be highly encouraged. Uh, you can do that on the property. You can do that on the opportunity within Aspire and load up those site maps for the crew to see. Um, you can put in visit notes so that the crew can communicate back to their supervisors. And then, of course, you can add pictures down here as well onto this work ticket. So you see all the various buttons that you would expect to see. They operate all the same way. Uh, the only difference would be you may want to track equipment um, or the material items you're using could be different as well. Right. So that was a good run through of a typical setup for our first ticket there. We're going to drill into this TNM service next. Okay. 
Here we're going to see a few different options for our equipment in our drop down here because when we built our estimate for the service, we had three different pieces of equipment that we may possibly use to perform the work on this site. So today we're going to be using the skid steer and we're going to start our time on this particular ticket. What that's going to do is it's going to associate the skid steer time with the labor time for this particular ticket. So because we're using that skid steer item on the time, then we don't need to allocate the skid steer item to the work ticket necessarily because we will already be associating the time with that piece of equipment. So it's one less step using that equipment time reporting checkbox on the route um, so that you don't have to apply that item as if it were a material. So again, we can come into materials just to show the effect of it. We can come in and we can look at bulk salt. We can apply some salt to this service as well. Okay, so again, inventory items that are going to be available from this section of the system as well within Crew Mobile. Okay, we can come in and we can stop that time as well. We'll stop our time on the skid steer and then similarly we can do the same thing with our this is a seasonal service it's the same kind of a situation though right we can start our time there's no equipment on this so we can just start our work okay so it's a quick check on that equipment time reporting drop down to allow us to make sure we're making the right choice okay we're going to stop our time on this ticket as well and what we're going to do as well, we can create a new ticket. So we maybe needed to go to a property that wasn't on our scheduled route. And we're going to come in here and we're going to say we need to go and do a one to three inch plow. And we can start our time. So this would allow us again, we'd want to check that equipment time reporting section. We can start our work there. and carry out and perform our actions. Okay, so again, when the whole route is complete, we can say, yep, yeah, we're good. We're gonna come back to our home screen. Our crew leader is going to clock out. In this system, we have our time attestations on. So we're going to just agree with that for a minute. We'll refresh our screen here so that we can see the time that's come through. We will be able to open our time entry. But here you can see that we have our 0.03 hours assigned to the skid steer and our 0.03 hours of labor and the two tons of salt that we have applied to that ticket as well. So this way we'll be able to charge for the equipment hours as per our TNM setup. You can go back and look at the TNM estimating for snow video that we did earlier as well for more information on what we're talking about here. Uh, but that will make sure that the charge to the client happens correctly. That was it for Crew Mobile today. Self performed work using Crew Mobile. We'll be doing uh, other videos about subcontractors as well. But hopefully, that gives you an understanding of how to use Crew Mobile for your crews. It's going to operate very similarly to the green season. Those two pieces on the route setup and slight difference on how to use Crew Mobile in regards to checking that equipment drop down to make sure that we're using it effectively for TNM in particular. And that would be a change. And then making sure that new ticket creation can happen as well. And there's going to be many times, typically during a snow event, where we're going to need to pivot and provide service for a, another client. So, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.